Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading for August of 2023. Let's get some shuffles and see what- wow, lots of cards jumped out of the deck. Well, too many jumped out to read, but one went in a different direction, so I'll read that one. Once I'm done shuffling here, we'll see what we've got going on for my Virgos for the month of August of 2023. Another card jumped out of the deck. All right, Virgo, so immediately out of the deck, we've got the Ten of Swords along with the World card in the reverse. So you may have felt stabbed in the back in the recent past. You feel like you hit rock bottom, and in order to come up from rock bottom, some of you may have already done this. So there was a karmic cycle that needed to come to an end, and you were having a really hard time ending it for some reason. And we've got the High Priestess in the upright. So I think a lot of you spiritually deeply went within to do some healing. I'm very proud of you, Virgo. Um, that also talks about keeping your goals to yourself. It talks about a connection to the divine and also using your feminine energy. So maybe a lot of you were operating in your masculine energy and you felt like you were doing the one chasing. You were trying harder than you had to with everybody else that wasn't reciprocating. You decided to say F that noise. I'm going to tap into my feminine energy and work more with flow allowing the flow of the universe to come to you and working with it and, you know, looking at what you have around you and working with your surroundings. And there's a cute little doggy in an SUV that just went past that was yipper yapping. I don't know if somebody that you know has a cute little yippy dog, like maybe a chihuahua or something tiny that I like to call a cute little ankle biter. Uh, that could be significant for you. Um, you can look up the symbolism of dogs. What I'm thinking is you've realized who your true pack is and you've stayed loyal to one another. You've shrinked your circle and you've just kept a few people and just kind of let a lot of other people fall right off. Anything or anyone that, desert, that uh, disturbs your peace, you've let it go, let it fall off to the wayside. And you've realized who your tight circle is and you've kept your closer connections. And in the distant past, yeah, you feel like a lot of, oh, I should probably say what the card is. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So you've had a lot of greedy people around you and I don't think it has to do with money. I think it was greedy in the sense of you felt that your energy was being stolen. Um, your peace was being stolen by so many people that were just draining the hell out of you that didn't deserve your energy. And in the very recent past, uh, we've also got, we have, uh, the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like you've come, you found peace by collaborating with a person or a job or a new situation where, Yay, you finally have somebody that's on the same page as you that wants to work with you and work on this connection and not just making you do all the work. We've got the Two of Swords in the reverse. So you cut through the bullshit and when the blindfold finally came off, wow, was there a whole new world like a freaking utopia for you, Virgo. And right now you and them you or them is in your King of Cups energy. There's definitely a strong emotional bond that goes unspoken. There's not a lot of a verbalization of this, but your emotional connection is strong. And what actions is Virgo's person gonna take? I don't think you really need the answers because you already know. Because this person's already proven to you that they're solid. Or group of people, possibly.
So we've got The Hanged Man, so that talks all about seeing things from another perspective. I think this person has helped you grow spiritually also and inspired you because they help you see things from a totally different point of view that you never would have thought of. Maybe you've been meeting new friends and new people that have given you fresh perspective on things that you never thought of before. And we've got two of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, this past situation was making you feel really burnt out. And what's the outcome? So even though we've got the lovers in the reverse, the way that all the other cards make sense, I don't think that um, it's a negative situation um, with your love situation that's going on. And I feel like maybe you were really stuck in the past, and I think that's going to be changing soon with the Wheel of Fortune in, in the reverse. You know what? I almost feel like with this Lover's card in the reverse, some of you might have been dealing with a toxic Gemini. Um, that might be the situation, and maybe they were holding you back, and you finally were done with that. Um, so now you've got a fresh new perspective on things, and I feel like things are going to be going your way for you, Gemini. Gemini. I accidentally said Gemini, so maybe some of you've got Gemini somewhere significant in your chart, Virgo. <laughs> All right, my Virgos, I hope that made sense for you. I hope you have a great month of August of 2023 and a great rest of your night. Well, thank you so much for watching, Virgo. Thank you.